Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is video three of this electric go-kart conversion. We didn't install the gas motor. We're putting a QS motor, 48 volt battery, and a bunch of electronics to make this thing awesome. It's gonna have that low end torque. I think it's really gonna tear through the dirt. So uh, let's get this all finished wiring up. Let's get the motor mounted. We need a back bracket welded up. We'll get all that painted, and hopefully we can test drive this thing really soon on tackle that. We are not far away from being able to test this thing out. We got the controller mounted. Now I don't typically like to mount it against the battery. I'll probably come up with some bracketing system, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use this Votal controller. I'm actually a far driver guy. I'm, I might upgrade and put a bigger controller on here. We'll see. But right now this is all calibrated, ready to go. So it's going to be great for the test ride. I put some aluminum angle uh, between it so that it'll dissipate any heat, but I'll monitor the temperatures. I've actually yet to get this thing even hot. Uh, got to finish wiring up, just got to get the um, throttle and the lights finished wiring, get things tidied up, and we can go for a test drive, yes! All right, we've taken the motor brackets off. We've sent them to paint. They'll be back shortly. We had to uh, actually get in the software, hired uh, Mike Reyes to tune this earlier on the last build and uh, called him up and said, I need to reverse the motor direction because it's mounted on the other side on a dirt bike. So we're swapping that around. When I went to test it, the wheels spun in reverse. So just got that straightened up. Let's uh, show you guys what we're working with here. I got, I got a low. 
And then we got a high. Wow. So much power. So much power. So that's going to be good. You got a speed for the kids, essentially, and you got a speed for the adults. So close. Waiting for that paint to dry. We'll put it all back together. Yes. Let's give it a test ride. Turn that switch on and we're going to give it a little bit of gas. Yeah. Awesome. Nice control. All right. I think our bench test is done. We need to get it out on the street. Rock and roll, baby. Ugh. Our foot pegs up. No kids right now. Lights. Camera. Action. You guys ready? You guys ready? Yeah. There it goes. We're going to do it in low speed. Oh, yeah. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those brakes don't work very good at all. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man that is awesome all right we are out for day two uh, we made two changes we put a bigger sprocket on the motor just one tooth bigger it's all i had uh, but that's going to give it less torque and uh, be a little bit less crazy i probably want to go up one or two more teeth that's going to increase that top speed uh, which I didn't really want to do, but uh, it's going to be <laughs> a lot less likely to be dangerous. Let's just put it that way. Now, speaking of dangerous, this was the most important change. We put pit bike brakes on here, so a lot bigger rotor, a lot stronger caliper, and uh, that's going to give us a lot more stopping power because the, <laughs> the stock brake was really just a joke. So what do you guys say? Let's take it for a rip. actually really smooth in the grass before the rain gets too crazy overall this build is awesome the brakes are a nice upgrade the bigger sprocket helps but i think we could even go bigger that way uh, it'll tame it down even further this thing has a ton of torque um, one thing i did notice is the tires 
are getting worn pretty quickly on the road. They're off-road tires, so if I do want to ride some on the streets more, I'm going to get some dual sport tires. The suspension is really soft, which makes it awesome for riding off-road, but it is pretty soft, uh, you know, as far as road riding goes. So you'd have to be careful. You don't want to flip this thing over. We're hitting about 30 miles an hour, which is plenty of speed being this close to the ground. Best of all, this battery is less than 300 bucks and uh, it hasn't complained at all. I'm pushing 200 amps and for that type of power, that's really the best price out there. And lithium iron phosphate is safe as well. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for joining. This was a great project. This thing is a lot of fun. We're gonna take it out on the trails. We're gonna take it to the farm and it's gonna be a blast for the whole family. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. We'll see you on the next one. There we go. <laughs>